Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and what we're going to do today is experiment a little bit with uh, with methane production. Now, there's all sorts of stuff on the internet about how to uh, make biogas or uh, natural gas or go bar gas or methane, however you want to call it. Basically, what we're doing is we're fermenting manure to get some flammable gas that you can use to, uh, you know, to burn. You can use it to run uh, gasoline engines. You know, with modifications to the carburetor, you can use it to run stoves. Uh, lots of stuff you could do with it. Now, generally, what I read is that cow manure works the best. Unfortunately, I don't have any cows. What I have is rabbits. And I couldn't find anything at all about how to uh, uh, use rabbit. Now, you'd think manure is manure, but it's not really. There's different chemical makeups. And uh, uh, rabbit manure, particularly, has a very high nitrogen content. Uh, rabbits are, are coprophilic, meaning that they eat their own manure, and and to uh, you know, so basically they digest it twice, and so it's a lot more um, processed. Little pellets. Biogas works the best if it's 30 to one, 30 carbon to one nitrogen. But uh, rabbit manure is nowhere near that. And took a class the other day on uh, agricultural incidents and asked one of the uh, the instructors about it. And basically just said, look, dude, if you want to know, why don't you just try it? So basically that's what I'm doing. I've got a, a jar of fresh rabbit manure here. Some good rubber gloves. A couple of jars. I'm going to do one jar straight rabbit manure with a little bit of water to make a slurry. And the other one I'm going to mix in some uh, uh, old straw to get the carbon content up, get a little bit of brown in there. We'll mix all that up real good, make a slurry, and then I'm going to put a balloon over the top to catch the gas. Biogas generates the best at higher temperatures, you know, you know, 95, 100 degrees or so. Down here in my uh, uh, basement in the workshop, it's kind of cold, so what I'm going to do is, while the wife is uh, gone, I'm going to sneak this up and put it in the uh, in the office in my Tupperware where I was just uh, fermenting some uh, some wine. It's right next to a heat register, so it stays a little warmer, and we'll just see how that works. So what we're going to do, I don't really have a funnel. So I just cut one out of the uh, the jar here. They also say poultry works real good with this. But making a feeder with the chicken would probably be a little harder. If I can get this to work with any acceptable amount of uh, gas production, rabbit would be really easy because they're in cages and I can just put some sort of trough underneath the cage.
if this makes any appreciable amount of gas, then I'll probably make one out of, out of um, drums. One of the reasons a lot of people do this besides you know getting the gas which they use at large quantities in like India matter of fact there's a a government institute in India that uh, you know experiments with this and sets it up they do this in villages and a lot of people actually you know this is how they, they uh, cook I don't know if this is the right ratio of water to manure. All I know is that uh, in what I've read it talks about making a slurry. And this stuff works anaerobically, so once the oxygen is gone, That's when it'll start producing the gas. <laughs> now granted, you know, why would you want to do this? When I make my uh, lawnmower generator will not run off of propane, I could get it to run off of methane. Then I can take the rabbit manure and possibly chicken manure. and uh, use it to make electricity. Of course there's a lot of kinks between you know reading about it in a book and actually making the system work. So we'll try it now where it's relatively painless So, if this works, this will fill up with the, uh, with the methane gas, and we can see which one produces more, even though we didn't measure very much, it's not very scientific. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to see, will this thing produce at all? And then from there, I'll determine, you know, whether or not I want to continue with uh, with more involved scientific experiments to actually uh, figure out the best procedures. So I'm going to go put this up in a heated area and let it sit uh, and we'll just check back uh, and see if I've produced any or not. So till next time.